What is going on guys, my name is Baron or Developer B, and welcome back to episode 18 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial series, and this episode is the second part of the two-part series of the advanced configuration files, and today we're going to be looking at multiple files and how to create multiple config files. So first off, I want to say thank you guys for 50 subscribers, that was a milestone of mine, and we smashed that yesterday, and I'm really thankful for that, so thank you guys for subscribing and helping out the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into this episode 18. And we are going to start off here. And this is the on enable. And this is where we are going to be creating our config files. And this file right here is going to be the constructor where we are going to make these config files. So pretty much we're only going to be generally doing stuff in here. I'm not going to like create a plugin that like utilizes these files i'm just going to show you guys how to create multiple files and how you can access them from the main class so it's going to be really cool so let's go ahead and get right into this first we are going to do some similar stuff that we did in the last episode we're just going to create a private file file and a private file configuration config and these are going to be the two things that we are going to be using throughout this class and we are going to create a constructor, a public config config file. We're going to take a plugin plugin and a string file name. And whenever this is called, it is going to create a new file. So we are first going to check if the data folder exists, just like we did in the last one. And if it does, then we're just going to create it. Or if it doesn't, then we're just going to create it. And there we go. So now we are going to create our new file. So we're gonna set up our file. It's really similar to the last tutorial. So plug in our get data folder and we just say file name dot YML like so. And then we can check and see if this exists. So this is really, again, it's really similar to the last episode. We are just Instead of specifying a name, we're just going to plug in this parameter that we had up here. And we're going to do a try and catch and create the new file and then catch it with an IO exception E and then print that stack. And we can go down here and just say config dot or wait, config equals YML configuration dot load configuration file. And there we go. So now we have this constructor set up and every time we create this constructor it will create a new file and it will create a new configuration file that you can utilize in your plugin and i'll show you guys how to call this later we're going to create our basic methods that we created in the last episode and i'm going to create them again so you guys get used to them because we may start using them a lot or not a lot but a fair amount in some episodes in the future we may create some mini game projects and we will definitely use these type of configuration files so let's go down here and just say some basic stuff so void save this is just going to save the config config.save file it's just going to save the file catch io exception e e dot print and we can go up here and just say our get void set, or we can do our set first string path object value. And we can go ahead and say config dot set path to value. And we can get do our get so public public object get string path. And we can say config.get path, or we can return config.get path. And we can do our contains, and that will be string path. And we can say config return config, config.contains path. And we can go up here and say boolean. And there we go, that's pretty much it for that. We can also look at some new methods that I will show you right now. I'll show you a few new methods that will be useful in using configurations. So just to add some advanced, some more advanced methods that we can use in this. 
example right here so we can actually say public void create section and what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to create a configuration section in the config and save it and we can actually set this to a configuration section because it is definitely useful for saving locations and stuff so if we go right here we can actually say config or configuration section section equals config dot create section and then we can specify a string path up here and we can say path and then we can just go ahead and say return section and that will go ahead and create that and we can actually save to because we want to go ahead and save that configuration section so that is another one and then another useful method would be set of string get keys in case we want to do something like in the last episode where we did a for loop to get all of the keys of the I don't remember exactly what we did of the warps to get the keys of the warps so we can go ahead and say get keys of string path and we can go down here and say return config dot get keys uh, false or wait config dot get configuration section of path dot get keys false and that will do that and pretty much this is just looping through just like we did in the bad player plugin that's what i meant to say that is actually it for this class and we can go ahead and go back into multiple files and we can start setting this stuff up so you can create as many files as you want we're actually going to make them static because we're going to make static methods for to access these config files so we can say private static config file and just go ahead and do that and we can just call it like config for example we can say that one's the config and then we can say config file maps or something i don't know like if you were going to create a mini game like we can say settings and then that's maps and then we go down here and say settings equals a new config file of this and then we can call it settings and then down here we can say maps equals a new config file this and then we can call it maps and that will, that will go ahead and create that and then down here we can just access these by saying public static config file and then get settings and then we can return settings and then we can say get maps and that will do the same thing and if we wanted to access these that we could just call them so let's go ahead and build this now so go to build artifacts multiple files and build and we shouldn't have any problems there we go let's go ahead and go in here and we can actually reload this and see if it works so reload it looks like it loaded up okay there's multiple files let's go in here go to multiple files and as you can see it created our two files right there and they are yml files and they are configurations as we did set them up as configurations and we have the methods for them right here so thank you guys for watching that was a tutorial on how to create multiple configuration files and that is going to top off the advanced configuration file series so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in episode 19.